Welcome back, dear listeners, to another episode of Sleep Lore, Star Trek, a podcast designed to lull you into the world of Star Trek as you drift asleep. I'm your host, Sleep Lore, and tonight we return to the universe of Star Trek. As the United Federation of Planets grew and evolved, so did its exploratory and defensive arm, Starfleet. Founded on Earth in the early 22nd century, Starfleet would become the embodiment of the Federation's principles, with a primary focus on peaceful exploration, diplomacy, and defense. With the formation of the United Federation of Planets, Starfleet's mission expanded beyond the confines of Earth's solar system, taking on the responsibility of representing and protecting the interests of the diverse member worlds. This newfound unity allowed for the pooling of resources, knowledge, and technology, leading to the development of advanced starships and cutting-edge scientific research. Throughout the centuries, Starfleet has been a home to some of the galaxy's most legendary captains and crews, such as Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise NCC-1701, Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise NCC-1701-D, Captain Benjamin Sisko of Deep Space Nine, and so many more. These individuals and their crews have shaped the course of history, forging alliances, making first contacts, and facing the unknown with courage and determination. In a way, Starfleet Starfleet can be seen as the heart of the United Federation of Planets, a living embodiment of its core values and aspirations. Through the tireless efforts of its officers and crew, the spirit of exploration and cooperation thrives. One of the most important and enduring aspects of Star Trek is the Prime Directive, also known as General Order One, or the Non-Interference Directive. The Prime Directive is the guarding principle of Starfleet, shaping the actions of its officers and crews as they explore the galaxy. The Prime Directive dictates that Starfleet personnel are not to interfere with the natural development of alien civilizations, particularly those that have not yet achieved warp capability. This policy is in place to ensure that less advanced civilizations and societies can evolve and develop without being unduly influenced or harmed by the more advanced technologies and cultures of the Federation. Throughout the various Star Trek series, we see the Prime Directive tested and challenged as captains and crews wrestle with the ethical complexities of upholding this fundamental rule. From Cat- Captain Kirk's encounters with the pre warp civilizations in the original series to Captain Picard's moral dilemmas in The Next Generation, the Prime Directive remains the cornerstone of Star Trek storytelling. The United Federation of Planets is made up of numerous member worlds 
each with their own unique species and cultures. Some of the most iconic alien species in Star Trek have played significantly large roles in shaping the Federation and its history. I hope you are drifting off into a deep, deep sleep. Think very little and let your dreams take the place of your eyes and encompass your mind. Come back next time for another episode. I'm your host, Sleep Lore. Good night.